you make wines in many different countries, in many different realities. How can you uh, print your personality on each wine? My job, I think, it's, it's, uh, there is two points. The first point is to convince people to do uh, better. That, that's quite complicated at the beginning. And my, my, second, my second job is to blend wines. And effectively, when, when I'm doing blending, certainly there is a type, Michel Roland, because, because I, I have a taste, my taste. I don't know if, if it's a good taste, it's working quite well, so it is not too bad. But but I, I have a, I give to the wine uh, a, a type of of, of roundness, suppleness, uh, full-bodied character. I like this type of wine, so I'm doing the wine I like. But the difference is not from me. The difference is from the soil and the climate. And so when you are working in Bordeaux, in Italy, in Spain, in 12 different countries, you never have the, the same soil, the same climate, the same grapes, and the wine are different by, by themselves. Even, even, even my, my philosophy is the same everywhere. If they have the same character or the same philosophy, they still have the terroir to make the difference. Absolutely. And how about your experience in Argentina, Chile, South Africa, India? So Argentina, it's a, it's a long time now because I, I began in uh, uh, 1988. But I think Argentina is certainly one of the country where we we have seen the best improvement in the last 10 years or seven eight years. Uh, now it's a, it's a country where we can find really very good wines. Chile has more uh, background in in the wine production. Uh, was producing uh, good wine but not really high quality wine now we have high quality wine in chile we we can find easily very good wines and was a a, a sort of uh, of challenge uh, and uh, we had to convince people to change almost mm -hmm. everything and mainly the viticulture because the the most difficult in in the in the country when we we arrive is to to uh, to change the viticulture because because vines is for a long time is not uh, uh, one year to another year we have to uh, pull out we have to replant so it's complicated so i have to convince people to do better work in the in the viticulture to improve the wine that's the first step and so, but that's my job, and it's not uh, really complicated. How about the, the life cycle of the vine in the North Sea, having two or three crops a year? Yeah, two. Uh, two. Normally, it's three crops in two years. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, vine is very resistant. It, it's it's a plant. Uh, uh, vines has no problem to to grow permanently. Uh, because at the beginning vines was was in in a country and growing uh, where it was possible to grow uh, uh, permanently and and uh, I think there is absolutely no problem to to uh, to produce uh, two times every year and we we have example not for wines but we have example for table grapes mm -hmm. uh, in India I consult also for wine in India uh, we have climate problem in India so we can't produce two times every year but but for the tab table grapes they are mm -hmm. producing two times every year and uh, I have seen uh, 25 years old vines uh, producing 20,000 kilo per hectare and and still uh, in very good shape and and uh, and uh, very wealthy so I think Physiologically, the vines has no problem to, to grow two times every year or okay. permanently. And, and how about uh, Borda Uruguay, Campanha Gaúcha? Do you think this is the best region in Brazil? I think it's a very interesting region. Uh, for many, there is many reasons. Uh, uh, the first reason, I think the soil is good. Uh, climate apparently is, is uh, better than. Uh, in in uh, Bento Gonçalves, where we have very high humidity, mm -hmm. well, I think the weather is not too bad in Bento Gonçalves, but the viticulture is more complicated to do, and, and so uh, Campania, I think, has has great future because because the condition for the uh, for growing vineyard is uh, is looking better. Uh, we d we don't have to use uh, irrigation; uh, we are doing uh, dry farming, uh, and the 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 last point it's a new vineyard 
and and it's a new vineyard well done well planted with the right uh, density and and i think it's very important that's that's uh, where we have a lot of work to do in bento gonzalves because we have to remodel a little bit the vineyard and how much it was to be exclusive in a country like in chile with casa la <laughs> Oh, it, it's a big mistake. <laughs> really? No, no. Finally, you, you know, when I came the, the first time, I came to Argentina, and I worked a few years in Argentina before to go to Chile. So when I went to Chile for for a French guy like me, Argentina Chile was the same. I don't have to say that to to, to the Chilean or the Argentinian, but it was the same place because it's thirty thirty five minutes. America, yeah. yeah, it's South America. Thirty five minute flight between Mendoza to Santiago was the same. So when they asked me to be exclusive in Chile, I I said yes because it was one contract on the other side of the Andes. It was it was not. A, It was not very important for me. Now, after 10 years, I know what I miss because because, because I had uh, uh, many uh, occasions to work in Chile in other company, but that's, I'm very happy with Casa And when this contract <laughs> finishes? <laughs> no, no, it's, it's a just a, a, a talk contract. And okay. it's a, that's the worst. We, can, we can't uh, <laughs> cancel it. Okay. And uh, your daughters work with you. What did you, what their names? Uh, I have two daughters. One is working with me, my uh, eldest one, Stephanie, Stephanie. and uh, but she's doing accounting. Mm, takes hold of the money. <laughs> yeah, we have to save money now. <laughs> Life is hard. Did you make a fortune? Are you rich? I'm not poor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.